Alrighty now, who can tell me what restaurant we're looking at? That is San Bernardino High School Cafeteria. I know, an audible wow from this audience. You bet. Does that look like a high school cafeteria? And can you imagine if this was in your high school or your elementary school or your middle school? What a difference it would make. What I love about my sponsor, Barry Schuster, the president and owner of Universal Seating Company, said to me, my job is to help school food directors keep their jobs. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Help you keep your job. And take a look at this incredible school food court design. What Barry did was he goes in, he collects all the students, the good students, the not so good students, the students that are well behaved, the not so well behaved students. People will support what they create. If students help to create the theme, if students help to create the colors, if students help to create the whole atmosphere, along with parents, along with teachers, along with administrators, everybody takes ownership of their new school food court. It's a 50s theme. Look at those tables. They look like piano keys. The news came in and did a broadcast after broadcast after broadcast. So your school system gets incredible, great publicity. And you also had the students were involved in it. They took, took complete ownership of, the, ownership of this and said, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You had safety issue combated because now why would they want to leave campus to go out and spend their disposable money when they could eat lunch each and every day in their own customized food court? And can you imagine the behavior difficulties dropped to almost zip? And every single food court that Universal Seating puts in has its own jukebox with pre-approved music from administration. And study after study show that students will not talk louder than the music. So if they push the button and they hear the music that they select, they will support what they create, remember. Then what happens is you've got behavior that drops and your behavior problems go away. Your student participation goes through the ceiling. Your revenues go through the ceiling. And this particular school food court was paid off within 18 to 24 months. Let's stop fighting McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and all those fast food companies and let's start copying them. They have tremendous attraction methods to get you into their stores. Why not copy that so that we keep the revenue in the schools so that we can keep our schools alive and vibrant and compete on the world stage instead of giving your dollars to the management companies that I love them. Don't get me wrong. And I've studied many of the management companies that come into the schools. They're brilliant. But the first thing they do is they remodel because they know children will eat their lunch there in a safe healthy environment and leave their disposable dollars in your school and so let's stop fighting outside and let's start copying them and keep the revenues within the school systems look at this cafeteria does this look familiar okay raise your hand if you would like to eat in this cafeteria for four years of your life for 12 years of your life. Would you be inspired and motivated to go out there and learn more? Or do you come into this cafeteria and instantly go, ugh? And because you go, ugh, what happens is the behavior corresponds to the environment and the look of the environment. Take a look down the middle of that picture. What do you see? Open trash can. I don't know about you, but I don't know of a fast food company in the United States today that the health department, if they saw that, wouldn't close that down. But I know what happens in our school systems. We say, well, you know, we've got elementary school kids. But reality is, even the poorest of poor kids in the United States of America have been to a McDonald's. They know how to open the little receptacle and put their lunch in. You see, McDonald's doesn't have trash all over the floor.
But I would be willing to bet that many of you in this room would tell me that you have a big problem with the kids missing that trash going, this school cafeteria is not motivating and we're losing money, we're losing students, and they're leaving campuses. And why this upsets me to no end, because in Phoenix, Arizona, we once again lost three more high school students because they left campus in a hurry to spend their money at McDonald's and to rush back to be in time for classes and they had a car accident and we lost three more teens. How many of our kids, our beautiful future leaders of tomorrow, are we going to have to lose before we understand there's a better and different way to do this? Our students today see our cafeteria as a prison. Go to jail. I remember this little kid comes in the other day and he was in tears and I said, baby, what's wrong? And he said, I don't want to go in there. And I said, the cafeteria? Everybody loves the cafeteria. And he said, no, yesterday she yelled at me because I didn't have the right change. I don't want to go back. Wow. And one other kid said to me, and they blow a whistle. My mother blows a whistle for our dogs to come. So they don't see our cafeterias as an exciting, interesting, motivating, inspiring place to learn or to be hanging out. But yet, if you had a new school food court, they would see that as a place to jump and cheer and have fun and enjoy it. This is Miami Edison High School. They had, like many of you, used their lunchroom, their cafeteria, as a multi-purpose room. And this is how they used it. This school had over 3,000 students in it. And 90 plus of them were free and reduced. But yet how many came to eat in this multi-purpose cafeteria? Less than 250 each and every day. Now why was that? That most kids that I know would rather die than let somebody else know that they were poor. They wouldn't go in. Universal Seating went in and they polled all the students. They sat down with them. They sat down with the teachers, the administrators. They got their, all their ideas. This is now their school food court. Can you imagine? Look at these booths and look at the closed in trash cans. No food on the floor. It's beautiful. It's exquisite. It's nice. The kids, the behavior problems went to zero. They increased, oh my gosh, through the ceiling. Just remember, 150 new free kids in your revenue stream is over $130,000. They paid for this in less than 18 to 24 months. But not only that, it was a sense of pride. There was no reason for the high school to close the campus because the students didn't want to leave campus. They wanted to stay and eat here. And especially since so many of them now could bring it with pride and say, wow, this is a great place for us to eat. And so what happens is when you put in a new school food court, you've got increased participation because we don't fight the fast food. We copy them. They know how to attract students to their facilities. We will know how to attract them by having an exciting, bright, a wonderful place for them to dine each and every day and be our guest. Because after all, I've said again and again and again, the cafeteria is the what? The heart of the school. We must become the focal point of the school because we're the only place that can increase revenue. And that revenue can increase a safe dining environment environment for each and every one of our students to enjoy. We then can decrease the amount of behavior challenges that we now have. And I know, I know that your general funds are shrinking, your budgets are shrinking like crazy, but we, the cafeteria, that's why I'm so excited about this program, because now we will not be the low man on the totem pole any longer. I'm tired of that. Let's flush that out. I'm tired of being the low to man on the totem pole. The top of the totem pole because because we're the only group in the entire school system that has the ability to make money and legally get it back into our general funds to support our budgets. And so we install a new school food court and we become a money-making profit center just by installing a school food court. Because you see, studies have shown that high school students alone have $65 each and every week of disposable funds. $65. How much of that are you getting right now? Very, very little of it. And we 
provide exceptionally healthy meals. You have reduced the salt, you have reduced the sugar, but yet we're not enticing those students. But when a management company comes in, what is the very first thing they do when they take over a school uh, food system? They remodel Mount Whitney High School before they use the school court idea. This is their system after they've put in a school food court. It's bright, it's light, it's attractive. It is a student magnet and a revenue increaser. Isn't that what we want to become? Money-making profit center for our school systems. They're in need. And now, the Royal Valley High School has a big marquee in front of their multi-purpose room, which is now their school food court, and they can put on that marquee all the presentations that they're making throughout the week. The booths that sparkle and glitter. They've got a jukebox. The kids get up from eating their lunch. They're so excited, and they get up and dance. They swing dance. Isn't that what we're begging for our kids to do to, to decrease the obesity and the diabetes and a wonderful thing we feed them healthy food and then they get up and move because they have the jukebox they even have tables that are like uh, 45 rpm record tops their graphics they love this cafeteria and here is a whimsical way that they do for the um, administration to bring the administration together because the students love to see the administration enjoying the cafeteria the school food court just as much as the kids do and so they've created their own little section for them and it looks like a beauty shop and they sit in these chairs and they can talk and then students can drop by a 14 foot bowling balls and tables that match and then they have their whole fountain soda fountain school in the school that $65 that that student was going to spend over at McDonald's they're now spending in this school and it's brilliant but not only that how many of you have had challenges getting your parents into the school to participate with PTA to participate with any of the bond issues and the funding that we want to talk about. They just don't come in, they don't have the time, too many kids, and this and that. But can you imagine if you had school dine-ins? Why don't we invite the parents to dine-ins? That's right, invite the parents to a dine-in where they come once a month or once a semester, however often you want to have them, and they come in. They will come into a school food court, believe me, because the kids have gone home and told them how fabulous it looks. And now they come in. We can talk Talk about healthy ways to cook on a shoestring. We can talk about bond issues that will support our school and the funding that we need. We can talk about how to uh, create better behavior and get your kids involved in their homework and support them. We can use this for all kinds of ways. Once again, increasing in participation, increasing revenue. We've now become a money profit center for the school. You can also have increased community participation. We can invite in all of the women's clubs in the area, the Lions clubs, and all of the participatory, the service clubs that you have in your own. And it creates a positive school image. The newspaper, the radio, the television will come in and do spots in your cafeteria simply because it's a great place to have. So now we have reduced the, the, the behavior that we didn't want. We have increased student participation participation, we have increased revenue, and on top of that, we have increased our feeling of ownership because we will support what you create. And so I get so excited about this idea because every single one of these cafeterias that I have been in have been amazing. In 18 to 24 months, they have been paid off. All of a sudden, school systems have hope. That for the first time ever, the cafeteria becomes the heart, the hope of the entire school. Because now we have an attractive, student-attracting kind of magnet to increase participation in revenue. And just increasing participation by, by 150 students is over $130,000. How much could you use that kind of money and those kind of revenues for your school system? Do you think you could help to make it a better place? place. And so together we can create a more positive, productive, and profitable learning environment by having our cafeterias become the heart of the school 
which becomes the money-making profit center of the school, which becomes a, an attraction magnet for our students and increasing our revenue. Bring in our parents, bring in our community all together, and together we will make education work.